Hey family, welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow. Today we are discussing Miss Denai Guerrero, an actress, a model, fitness influencer, you name it, this lady is all in one. I'm discussing her today because she's starting her own channel again or relaunching an event she used to have, Love Our Girls. Um, and I think she started that channel or segment seven years ago and now it's like a rebrand and a relaunch. But she's also sharing her health story about fibroids and other ailments that she suffered and her own personal experience so today i wanted to cover her give her a lot of her props for just touching based on health and importance about spirit and awareness especially in our world today as you see right here man she does her own stunts training she's fit um and she's not she's getting up there in age if y'all already know aging process for all of us we're gonna age we're gonna have to adapt we're gonna have to change the way we eat the way we train the way we stay healthy and maintain a healthy lifestyle so i just wanted to test base on her just to show y'all how amazing this young lady is from not only on the film but also about just spreading this awareness to our young ladies out there um all around the world so today that's looking forward to it let's see what she has to offer excited to get into this conversation with her please check it out hey family you heard from miss deny herself and she just spreading the word about loving girls why she started now in this episode that she's talking about she's going to talk about fibroids her history her family history and the things she struggled with coming up and also the importance of you know always check with your physician if you have a problem especially a medical emergency this is not health advice it's just something that i believe everybody need to do all second opinions is also very helpful if you're having doubts you don't feel comfortable with a certain physician i know a story of my personal name myself me and my wife um she had a doctor who she didn't feel comfortable with delivering our son titan so that'll be a different episode i'll probably do the, his birth story coming up soon um but anytime you feel questions it's your right to ask you're paying for your services and your life matters so i appreciate this young lady for sharing her story i look forward to hearing it hopefully you enjoy this content and don't forget to like subscribe and follow let's go this month at love our girls we wanted to focus in on her story around our health and our care and our bodies therein uh, we really wanted to focus in specifically on the issues of fibroids and endometriosis. We know that this is an issue that is very often underplayed and under discussed uh, around us and in our communities and, and one that women often suffer silently with. And we just wanted to bring it more out into the open. There's so many amazing folks doing amazing work and bringing awareness to this issue and really navigating innovative ways to address the issue. I have dealt with the issue of fibroids and it's very much something that happens in, in my mother's side of the family. Uh, and uh, I have dealt with it personally. And I know a lot of women out there have been dealing with endometriosis. I know that a lot of aspects of fibroids statistically tend to hit women of African descent harder than other women. Um, and I know that what I learned, my health story around the specific issue, has very much been about 
really trusting myself, my gut, and my understanding of how to get all the information I can before making a move uh, that uh, involves any type of intervention, any type of surgical procedure. And I, both times, and specifically the second time I dealt with fibroid removal, I had to go to the right people. And I realized the first people I went to were not the right people. And my gut told me that, and I just, I, my spidey sense, whatever you want to call it, but I was like, mm, I'm going to keep looking. I don't think this is the full answer. And once I did start to share with people I was dealing with this, and I was curious for another opinion, I then was, someone was like, oh, well, I know this person, or I know this surgeon, or my friend, so-and-so, you need to talk to her. She loved her surgeon, or I, I know the best people in, in town for this. You've got to talk to them. And, and through that, the second time, that's when I was exposed to uh, Dr. Sechkin and Dr. Chu, who are fantastic uh, co-pilots in, in navigating um, awareness of endometriosis and surgeries connected to endometriosis, and uh, did and I was fortunate to have them um, to work with them with my fibroid removal, and uh, you know they they really opened me up to this whole world of there's a community around this, they have a foundation around this, they have a blossom ball every year where they 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 really bring people together, they have uh, great conferences on this where they're really trying to encourage community around this issue so women feel empowered and they have access to real information and to um, and to each other and to really fantastic hopefully resources and so what we hope to do this month is to expose all of us out there who are navigating this issue or curious if they should be looking into this issue for themselves based on symptoms they're dealing with or they've struggling with. Um, we really want to expose you to a lot of resources, to a community. We want women to come and share their health stories as much as they can about how they've learned things that have helped them, um, you know, get to their, uh, you know, optimal health in this area. We've got some wonderful guests who are going to be talking to us as well um, during this this uh, this time in LOG, uh, Falake and Padma, who are going to talk about how they are very connected to their journey in this area and want people to know more and people to have access. So this is really uh, about us taking the bull by the horns and navigating our, our journeys to our satisfaction with uh, while we feel empowered and informed. So thank you so much and uh, please share your stories as you feel led. If you have something you want to make sure other women out there know, please make use of us as a platform to do so and we'll make sure your voice is heard out there as much as we can because we want to be um, as empowered and healthy and happy as we can be as women in this world. Thank you so much, guys. And uh, from LOG, we love you. I was blown away by the Black swim stories that I learned and gathered during this time and really want to invite folks to share their stories. I think once we're able to put our stories out there and share them with our community, we're able to start navigating the journey we want to be on. Please do share your swim story with us and I will share them on my page. I think it'll be amazing to create a community around our stories in this area and navigate for a new beginning.